Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new review of Nightpunk's Human. In what felt like one of the more highly anticipated projects in this year from the EDM community, Nightpunk's debut album has finally dropped. While not the most commercially successful artist out there, Nightpunk has garnered a seemingly cult-like following over the past couple years, largely in part to the variety that he's brought to the bass scene. Tackling the likes of breaks, drum and bass, trap, dubstep, neuro, and so much more, uh, Nightpunk has been one of the premier, more kind of underground artists. And this album is very much a reflection of that sentiment. Human, his debut album, is an absolutely destructive project front to back. Leaning most heavily into the kind of subgenres of hardcore breaks and hybrid trap, Nightpunk doesn't really shy away from the mixing and mashing of styles and sounds to create a truly unique sound design. Wasting no time at all, Grounded kickstarts our journey. It's got some soft keys to open the record off here, and with only about 15 seconds of it, I think it's a real tone setter that can't be diminished the effect it has on the rest of the project. The atmosphere and subtle vocal samples here lays a very eerie foundation for what's to come. I seriously cannot stress enough how crucial I think these first 15 seconds are to the whole record and how utterly perfect it is. And then blasting us right away with that hardcore breakbeat style, this track is the perfect opener. The mix of screeches, fat bass lines, rapping, and its relentless beat is just a taste of what's to come. At about the two minute mark in the track, it takes a kind of brief detour to bring back those panel chords more prominently here and kind of take the track down in its explosiveness. But just when sonically it feels like the track is wrapping up, Nightpunk comes in and hits you with a strong left hook and with a very, very tasty beat switch. It's a song structure that appears numerous times throughout this project and I love it. By letting you think the track is over with a relatively fast exit from the initial drop, only to come back swinging with its often kind of 30 second flex at the end of the tracks, it's always left me satisfied with a sense of conclusion to a track. The amount of times I told myself, man, that was a great track only for it to come back in and I haven't even heard its best part yet. Oh. And on top of all of that, I personally always loved when EDM and rap come together. Whether it's an uncredited little hit here or there or a full-blown verse, the rapping littered throughout this record is a large contributor to what I believe to be the kind of deeply underground tone of the project. Tracks like Flow, Grounded, and Hyperdust all have this more elusive trap feature. Spitting a bar or two at a time and often coming back to a chant throughout, the energy in which these uncredited vocalists bring to the record cannot be understated. And then you've got some giant verses on the likes of tracks like uh, MTV and that is still miraculously uncredited, the vocalist here. And what feels like a kind of lost Miss Elliot feature, whoever the rapper ended up being on here is a clear highlight with nasty bars, a sick flow, and an abundance of flair. Specifically on this track, Nightpunk's production is, yes, yeah, still the primary focus of the song, but does a phenomenal job of keeping pace with the rapper as they often continuously complement one another. You've got another case of Nightpunk blending together the sounds of trap, breaks, and drum and bass so seamlessly in one track. Coming in strong and hard with a breakbeat forward to the track, once the vocalist joins in, he kind of backs him up with the classic trap uh, hi-hats and triplets that you would hear from a normal trap or hybrid trap song, only to snap it back to that breakbeat style immediately following. If you can't already tell, MTV is one of my favorite tracks from this record, hands down. But of the whole record, I would actually say it's too hot to touch that feels like the biggest flex of anything here. Quite narratively apparent, stating that he's on fire so much that he's too hot to handle. Production-wise, this is some of the best synth work on the record. Producing what sounds like technology in panic, the hits of the lead line sound as if they're breaking mid-hit. And it all just allows Nightpunk to kind of drop it down a peg, bringing in a bassier sound to finish the line off. Rinse and repeat, it's marvelous. And again, just when you thought it was over, just like I highlighted on Grounded, Nightpunk gives you a quick 15 second finale of that same lead line just absolutely muddied to high hell, closing off another fantastic track. All throughout this record, the production is absolutely top tier. The mixing is masterful, the bass lines are loud without being too abrasive, the melodies are sharp without being too piercing, it's just solid in every which way. And while it's fairly fully a sort of break beat record, Nightpunk dances in and around a variety of sounds to keep the listener engaged. Centering this project around that sort of break beat style gave it a bit of a fresh coat of paint for me personally. I may just be in the wrong circles here, but I feel like I haven't really heard a very comprehensive breakbeat forward record 
in years. As a holistic record though, I think one of the things I find most interesting about it is its major shift it takes in the last third. The 42nd Move Ahead interlude acts as a chapter marker here with the kind of final four tracks being stylistically quite different from the first two thirds. Without these final tracks, the album totally could have ended right at Miracle, at being 10 tracks long, and it would have been a great project. But to go that extra mile with its conclusion is one of the many things I love about this album. Nephilim's Dream is an acid trip of a track exploring a way the atmosphere and thunderous guitar solos. With Sober being a more down garage style track with lots of open air and enticing foley. Then both Black and Colors and Better Off are more vocal forward tracks that kind of close off the record. Black and Colors specifically has a more sedative sound palette, opting out of those kind of harsh synths and meteor bass lines for a smoother finish. And while Better Off kind of puts a bit of an underwhelming final conclusion on the record, it definitely matches the tones of the songs before it. I honestly wasn't paying a whole ton of attention to this record for a majority of its release cycle, and I definitely regret doing so in hindsight. That being said, I was able to jump into this record front to back with little to no prior biases or lingering thoughts, which I thought served the record really well. Individually, the tracks on this album are absolute fire, but when listening to the project holistically, I think it's just that much better. The track list is crafted in such a way that each track builds upon the energy of its predecessor to culminate into one giant unit. Human has some of the best underground production I have heard in a very long time. It's energetic, it's destructive, it's heart pounding, and in the end, pieced together with so much intentionality that you truly feel satisfied with every listen. And in the end, Nightpunk's Human is going to score a bow tied 9 out of 10. But thank you so much for listening. I've been Dakota from Bowtie Media. I'd love to hear what you think in the comment section below of any and all opinions on this album. What do you think? What do you think of the singles? What do you think of the score? Is it too high? Is it too low? I'd love to hear any and all thoughts. But again, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.